skeletons is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another versus video. So this video is going to be the Jungle Cruise in Disneyland versus the Jungle Cruise in Walt Disney World. I have actually been on both Jungle Cruise rides. Um, I actually prefer, I don't want to say ours because the only reason I'm saying that I like ours a bit better, like granted theirs is a lot nicer, it's a lot bigger, it's a lot, there's a lot more going on, but there's just one particular scene that scares me, it's when you go in the temple and it's all dark and you don't see anything until the, they turn on the lights and uh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies, so I prefer ours a lot more just because I'm not scared of it. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm gonna read these two articles I found for both Jungle Cruises and let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite uh, Jungle Cruise if you've been on both or why you love your Jungle Cruise a lot like why, why do you love your Jungle Cruise and you know if you've been on both and if your opinion changes by the end of this uh, versus video let me know why. So first we are going to be talking about the Jungle Cruise here in the Disneyland Resort. What's waiting for you deep in the jungle? You never know on Jungle Cruise on this iconic Disney boat ride, you set sail on the dangerous and adventurous rivers of Asia, Africa, and South America. Jungles are mysterious places holding plenty of secrets to be discovered. That's why we're exploring the secret history of Jungle Cruise. Let's cruise along and see what waits us in this secret and history post. One of the most highly anticipated Disneyland attractions, Jungle Cruise opened in Adventureland at Disneyland Park on July 17, 1955. According to the history of Disney.com, it was one of the few attractions not based on a Disney animated film. Harper Goff, who worked on 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, hopped on the project to help design the attraction. Inspired by the film The African Queen, Jungle Cruise was originally to have re real live breathing animals, a suggestion by Walt Disney himself. Disney desired for the adventurous attraction to entertain guests with real animals because of the crazy success of this true life adventurous film. However, Disney quickly discovered after consulting animal care specialists that animals still have minds of their own and could not be counted on for consistency. Many of the animals would be asleep during the show, at, act unpredictably, and may never even be seen by guests. What else could provide an exciting experience for guests? Audio animatronics, of course. Imagineer and his horticulturist, Morgan Bill Evans, was also consulted by Walt Disney for the creation of Jungle Cruise's landscape. Via DisneyParks.com, Evans wanted to create a Hollywood jungle. This type of jungle would contain exotic plants, trees, and more to create the atmosphere of dangerous, foreign, and exciting lands. Adventureland was even moved from the east side to the west side of the park to use large eucalyptus trees into the attraction. These trees would grow to help the exotic plants to function and live inside the Hollywood jungle. Leading up to the grand opening, grand opening of Jungle Cruise, Disney gave the attraction a handful of publicity on television. According to D23.com, while the attraction was being created, Disney drove viewers through the ride in his Nash Rambler. After Jungle Cruise opened at Disneyland, guests raved about the attraction and another version opened in Magic Kingdom Park on October 1st, 1975. Tokyo Disneyland opened Jungle Cruise on April 15, 1983, and Hong Kong Disneyland started tours on September 12, 2005. A decision was made not to, to not open a Jungle Cruise at Disneyland Paris since many European parks already had a very similar ride. Now for the extra fun part, the secret history of Jungle Cruise has some interesting facts. Via mentalfloss.com, Walt Disney was inspired by Jungle Cruise to always improve and change attractions to keep guests coming back. This happened after Disney heard a mother telling her young son who was pointing at Jungle Cruise, no, we did that last time we were here. During the holiday season, Jungle Cruise turns into Jingle Cruise at both Disneyland Park and Magic Kingdom Park. This is a more festive version of the boat ride. Think the animal's glowing eyes are some sort of high-tech special effect? They're really just marbles with a reflective coating. One of the boats... San Kun Saddle actually sank at the Magic Kingdom Jungle Cruise in 2004. The boat still runs today. According to The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World by Susan Maness, there is a large caged tarantula after you pass through the turnstiles. She recommends to ask the cast member about it for an interesting story. You'll notice the front half of an airplane while sailing the rivers. Look for the other half in the Casablanca scene at Disney's Hollywood Studios, The Great Movie Ride. Via The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World by Susan Venice. Disney's Polynesian Village Resort is placed directly across Bay Lake from Adventureland and perfectly matches the theming. The water of the rivers isn't really as dirty as it looks. Disney adds a mucky green dye to disguise how shallow the water really is. Try the all-new Jungle Navigation Company Skipper Canteen Restaurant. 
next time you're at Magic Kingdom Park. The restaurant is, an inspi is inspired by Jungle Cruise. Next, we're going to be looking at the Jungle Cruise in Walt Disney World. Everything you need to know about the Jungle Cruise. You're going on vacation to Walt Disney World. The only problem? You're not sure which attractions are right for you and your kiddos and you have questions. Which attractions are too intense for little ones? Which rides do I really need a fast pass plus reservation for? What's the disability access like for certain attractions? We're answering all those questions and more in our Everything You Need to Know attraction series with today's focus on a classic, the Magic Kingdom's Jungle Cruise. What is the Jungle Cruise? The Jungle Cruise is an outdoor boat tour piloted by pun-loving skippers down the rivers of the world. During the venture, guests encounter audio animatronic wildlife and mysterious temple and even the eighth wonder of the world. Where is the Jungle Cruise? The Jungle Cruise is located in Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom. Guests can find the attraction next to the Swiss Family Treehouse and across the magic carpets of Aladdin and Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. What is the history of the Jungle Cruise? The Jungle Cruise is an opening day attraction at Disneyland inspired by Walt Disney's true life adventure films and the African Queen. The original iteration of the attraction was much more serious than today. Walt wanted it to be the Kilimanjaro safaris of the 1950s. He even wanted live animals to be used in the attraction before learning that wasn't exactly the best idea. Over the years, the Jungle Cruise became more about the joke-filled spiel and its trademark humorous scenes added by Imagineer Mark Davis. Due to the ride's ability to adapt and its vintage charm, the Jungle Cruise was and has remained a classic Disney attraction. The Jungle Cruise was also an opening day attraction at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. While based off Disneyland's original version, the Magic Kingdom Jungle Cruise offered a few differences, including a cruise through an Asian temple. The Magic Kingdom's Jungle Cruise received one of the park's first holiday overlays back in 2013. The Jungle Cruise is the same Jungle Cruise adventure, but with the holiday-themed jokes and Christmas decor, courtesy of the homesick skippers. This festive overlay is currently being offered from November 2nd through January 3rd. In 2015, the Jungle Cruise Navigation Company Skipper Canteen Restaurant opened in Adventureland, which further expanded the world-famous Jungle Cruise's mythology. Here the skippers are your servers, and the menu reflects flavors from all, part, all of the parts of the world featured in the Jungle Cruise, as well as a few of, their, of the puns. What do you need to know about the queue for the Jungle Cruise? The Jungle Cruise queue is an open-air posted outpost accepting bookings for cruises. Winding through the queue, guests can see the boats pulling up to the docks as well as cargo artifacts and maps. What are the ride vehicles like for the Jungle Cruise? Each Jungle Cruise boat approximately accommodates 30 guests in order to board. Guests must step over a moderate high wall onto a bench and then down a moderate step. Cast members actually lend a hand to help guests step from the dock and into the boat, as well as to disembark. Bench seats line the interior perimeter of the boats with some seating provided in the middle. There are no safety restraints due to the slow-moving nature of the ride vehicles. What do you need to know about the Jungle Cruise ride experience? The premise of the Jungle Cruise is guests have signed up for a lengthy tour down the rivers of the world guided by a skipper from the Jungle Navigation Company. While the ride only lasts about 8 minutes, guests journey down the Amazon, the Congo, the Nile, and finally the Mekong. Each section has audio animatronics or a scene specific to that region, such as a giant python, a camp raided by gorillas, headhunters, waterfalls, or a pride of lions. While many of the scenes are humorous, they even are even more so thanks to the rapid-fire puns and jokes from the skippers. They are, after all, the main draw of the attraction. Several jokes and gags from the skippers' spiel have become iconic over the years, and they often get the biggest rece reception from the guests who have cruised before. Be expecting the backside of water cheer when your skipper takes the boat behind the waterfall, as well as Trader Sam at the end of the attraction. He's the head salesman of the jungle, offering two heads for one of yours. The Jungle Cruise is a gentle, slow-moving boat cruise with plenty to see and just as much to make you chuckle. It's the perfect family attraction as it truly offers something for every age and member. What do you need to know about accessibility for the Jungle Cruise? Guests may remain in a wheelchair slash EVC. What do you need to know about the health and safety advisories for the Jungle Cruise? There are no health and safety advisories for the Jungle Cruise. What are the height restrictions for the Jungle Cruise? There is no height restriction requirement to ride the Jungle Cruise. What do you need to know about the Fast Pass Plus for the Jungle Cruise? The Jungle Cruise isn't the most popular attraction at the Magic Kingdom, but it's definitely a must-do and generates long lines. I recommend making a Fast Pass Plus reservation if it's a priority for you. Does the weather affect the Jungle Cruise? While the Jungle Cruise boats are covered, certain weather conditions may result in the attraction closing. However, while the main part of the queue is covered, it is not enclosed, and those waiting in the extended queue may be exposed to the elements. What's the best time of day to experience Jungle Cruise? 
As always, the line is shorter first thing in the morning and then at night during the fireworks or before closing. I personally think the nighttime cruises are the best. All right, guys, and that is it for today's versus video. Like I said, um, if you've been on both jungle cruises, which one do you prefer? If, you, if your country has a specific jungle cruise or your state has a specific jungle cruise, let me know what you think about your own jungle cruise. And if you have ridden both, has your opinion changed now that you know what both rides are like? Let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.